Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do a project called Everything True. Uh, check if the predicate, the second argument, is truthy on all elements of a collection. First argument. In other words, you are given an array, uh, an array collection of objects. So an array, which is a collection of objects, right? Uh, oh, yeah. The predicate pre will be an object property and you need to return true if the value is truthy, otherwise return false. In JavaScript, truthy values are values that translate to true when evaluated in a Boolean context. Remember, you can access object properties through either dot notation or bracket notation. Okay, so let's get started. We just wanna find out whether it's truthy or not. So is sex an element in each of these objects? And so, yeah, I'm just gonna start off, we'll just iterate through each object, right? So uh, we could say, so we're gonna let i equal zero, i is less than uh, collection dot length, i is plus equal to one, and then we can say, uh, we could uh, console dot log the collection at position i. Okay, so now we're iterating through each of these, right? Um, well, collection at position i is great, um, but we know that we're trying to find out the value of the pre. So pre is uh, sex, and so we can actually put throw that into here because that'll be the objects, right? So collection at i by pre. There we go. And then we get male, male, female, female. So with this one, this should return true because these are all truthy values. So um, yeah, we could just have... Here's what I'm thinking. We could start off and just say, let the result equal true. And then we return the result. And we could just run this test. Okay, this one's passed, this works. But this one doesn't work, so what's going on here? Uh, if I just take that string and pass it in, or that, uh, and the array and the, and the thing in here, well, this should return false, why? Because here, there is, the user has no element of sex in it. So this is the second one, right? And so if we console log here, it's undefined. So I would say we could say if um, collection at pre is equal to undefined, then we say, then we change the result equal to false, right? And then um, here we can say, let um, the final answer equal there, and then we console log the final answer. Uh, well, uh, we can get rid of the console log too, as that's just gonna confuse us for now. Now we've got false, so we've got the right answer for this one. So if we run the tests, cool, this one passes as well. Um, this one should pass false as well, but it's not acting the way that we want, so how about we throw this guy into our problem and see what happens. This one returns true, but it should be false. Well, let's uh, get back into console logging here. Uh, zero, three, five, four, and true. So um, we wanna have age in here. Age is zero, age is three, age is five, and then age is four. So age is actually being passed in here with each one. So my guess is that what they're saying is that if the age is at zero, we want to return uh, false. So we could come over here and just change this. This is just changing the spacing this far. And we could say, or collection at i pre is equal to zero. This gives us a false. This renders out false because the age is zero and that's what we want. So if we run the tests, we'll see we're passing another one. Cool. Um, and how about this one? On boat, on boat is equal to null here. On boat is equal to true here, and on boat is equal to true here. Okay, so we know that we want to handle a situation where there's null. So if we go collection pre is equal to null, this should pass this test as well. So let's run. Cool, we've got this one passing as well. So now we can look to this guy. We've got single and double. Uh, pass it into here. And we're rendering true, but we want to render false. And so the single 
key value pair is empty. So we also, now we know that if we want the collection of pre to be, if it's equal to uh, an empty string, we also want to return false. And so now we've got, this is the, sec, or the third to last one. If we run the test, we'll see that that one passes. Okay, cool. And then finally, we've got this situation where it's nan, uh, not a number. And if we pass this in here, we're saying that it's returning true. And so here we want to create another one. Um, collection of pre is equal to, to nan. Now that still returns true. So this actually isn't working. This is actually a tricky one. Nan, you need to use the, uh, the number prototype. So you say uh, number dot uh, is nan. And then you pass the element in as a um, argument. <clears throat> and now we get false. And if we run the tests, this passes. Okay, cool. So this is sort of a brute force way of solving this problem. But there's a, a much more um, elegant solution if we use higher order functions. So I'm just going to cop um, comment this out. Now, um, if you remember, we had a function, a, a higher order function called every. So with this one, what we can do is just return the result of a collection uh, with in which we iterate through every element and then we feed in a function uh, where each um, element is a data point and um, we say uh, oh so what we want to do is just find out if they're there so data point at position pre and this i believe will actually solve our problem as well do we have to return Every? Yeah, okay, cool. So we need to return the data point of pre. Now, what does this mean? Well, <clears throat> we could console.log data point, right? And we're just getting these two and the data point of pre. And this one's uh, null and uh, double and non. Okay, so double is actually a string, right? We're dealing with uh, a string here. Um, if we say, is equal to true, but not equal, but, oh man, how do you do this? Okay, so with if statements, there's a truthy and a falsy sort of situation. And so if the data point is um, nan, this is a falsy value. And if it's double, that's a truthy value. And so we return false because nan is a falsy value. Um, yeah, that's why we return uh, false here rather than uh, true. So I hope that makes sense. Um, it's a little difficult to describe, but basically it's like you can just use this implicitly. Um, instead of saying and checking against all these falsy values, JavaScript immediately ex uh, expects that empty strings, zero, null, undefined, and uh, nan are falsy values. And so if we return uh, well, with every, what we're doing is we're returning the truthy or, or falsiness of this, uh, of the result here. Um, that because nan is a falsy value, we return false here. And that's why we get the right answer with this short bit of code. And so both of these code do very similar things, but this one's just a bit more succinct. Um, and it's up to you which one you want to use because you can pass the test with this guy or you can pass the tests with this guy but um, they're both uh, valid answers and they're both useful programs. So it's up to you really. And obviously there's a bunch of, or not obviously, but there's a bunch of uh, cleanup that we could do here to make this a little bit more readable. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because you could pass the test either way. Um, anyways, so hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.